Okay, we'll focus on the breath. We try to develop power as a concentration in the present moment. These are very important skills. And skills that help us as we live, skills that even help, help us as we die. There are very few skills in the world that can really help you as you die, but this is one of them. Someone once asked, how can you prepare for death by focusing on the breath? Because when you die, there won't be any breath. Well, as you're focusing on the breath, the mind settles in, and then you've got the mind right there. And you train it to be with an object and yet not be sucked into the object. In the beginning, you are becoming one with the breath, but there comes a point where they divide out. Your awareness is one thing, the breath is something else. This is an important part of the skill, because then you can apply that to anything that comes up in the mind, anything that you're aware of, inside or out. And regardless of what happens outside, the awareness is still there. Regardless of what thoughts come up in the mind, what emotions come up in the, come up in the mind, your awareness is still there. You want to hold on to that. Keep that as bright and clear as you can. Because we live in this world where things are going to happen that we don't like. I mean, it's part of the world. There's gain and there's loss. There's status, loss of status. There's praise and there's criticism. There's pleasure and there's pain. These things come in pairs. And they're not, none of them are really ours. I mean, they get taken away very easily. So if your awareness goes in and gets attached to these things, okay, then when they get pulled away, it's like part of you has been pulled away as well. So you have to learn how to develop this sense of knowing but not getting tied up with things, not getting sucked into things. So try to develop that skill. At first, in the first stage when you're with the breath, you really do become one with the breath, but as you stay with it long enough, things separate out on their own. Prior to that, we can separate things through our ideas, but it's the actual seeing of the awareness as being something separate from the object. That's something that comes only when you've been one with the object. So try to be one with the breath as much as you can. And that way you develop some important skills. <laughs>